cherry, cherry wheat. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with another beer review, and uh, sorry for the silly music. So up today we have Sam Adams Cherry Wheat, which I normally don't drink uh, at any time of year except Thanksgiving. I, I don't know why, um, but when I tend to have it, it's not a favorite of mine. Uh, I like it well enough, and it's it goes very well with Thanksgiving type food. Well, your stereotypical turkey, especially when the turkey's been deep fried. I, I don't really know why that pairing. I like it so much. I don't. Oh, I don't care for cherries. Um, and I don't have much bread anymore, so you can say I'm, I'm you know, off gluten and all that stuff. Mmm. I know, the foam is really good, but, oh, the cherry's right on the nose. It just hits you full. And it, and it, just the foam, it, it lots of cherry. There's a little hint of some of that wheat, wheat, um, kind of grainy aroma. But it almost is like a... It's like a cherry soda almost, without the cola flavor, just kind of the cherry and a little bit of fizz. Mm. Ah, and then it washes over. This is a very interesting beer for me because many, because like I said, I don't like cherries that much and most wheat beers are, they're okay. They're usually something I have with a meal and when I don't really care what I'm having as far as the drink. 5.3%, 23 IBUs. So very, uh, very non-bitter, very unassuming beer. It's a good beer to get people into some better stuff that are used to like Bud Light and crap like that. And we have Sirens now. So it's definitely a meal beer, a mealtime beer, if you will. Um, I find this beer, it pairs with a lot of food, very wide range of foods. And, but it's not one that I can just enjoy by itself. This is not one I'm going to sit around with friends and chat about uh, days gone by sit, drinking this. It's just not that kind of beer to me. But, excuse me, fizz is getting to me. But like I said, you know, you have this with Thanksgiving dinner. It'll go with the meal. Go If you have ham instead of turkey or if you're vegetarian and you do some kind of whatever. It doesn't matter. This stuff will, this beer will go with almost any food. It'll go with light fish, heavy, you know, very fishy fish. It'll go with spicy food, bland food, grilled food, fried, baked. I, you know, I don't care what you're eating. I, I don't know if anything, other than something really, really sour, I guess, maybe. But it'll go with spicy. It'll, so you can do Indian, you can do Thai, you can do Chinese, you can do your southwestern chili and tacos and everything this this beer will go with just about anything have i said that enough okay does everybody get the point but as you can see nice cloudiness that you should get in a wheat beer um very rarely do you find a wheat beer that is and i didn't shake this up or anything um sometimes what you want to do is you want to pour it a while and then there should be some yeast in the bottom and there definitely is but you want to swirl that around and get that the yeast in the in the with wheat beers many times you need the yeast to give it head retention. It also gives it a bit more body, and there are also some flavors in there. It's also a good source of vitamin B, so the yeast is not a bad thing. And your body usually flushes a vitamin B when you're drinking alcohol anyway. So I'm giving this thing a four because I really like it. Uh, it's definitely a beer that that's um, it surprised me. I had some I heard years ago people tell me how good this was and I'm like cherry wheat. Oh, this the thought of that. A wheat beer with cherries. I didn't like cherries and most wheat beers like I said are just kind of ugh. And my brother brought this to Thanksgiving at my parents' house several years ago and I had one and holy cow. And and so I saw it in the store. I don't know how old this is. Um, September 2017 is the is the uh, enjoyed by date so it is stamped on there so it's still it's still it is new and considering this is only april um but you know definitely i like it with with dairy foods i mean oh, i can't imagine this time of year then getting a double bacon cheeseburger with some good onions and a nice toasted uh whole wheat bun with i like a, a cajun mayo oh this would be a great fit for that hmm you have just enough sweetness with the cherries. They're not real tart. They're not real. They're not a whole lot of bitterness. 
and you got that sweetness from the wheat, and they kind of compete with that, and you get something like a Cajun mayo. That would go very well. All right. Have you tried cherry, Sam Adams cherry wheat? What do you think of it? What do you think of my beer pairings? Have you tried any of them? Do you think they're great? Do you think they're stupid? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for clicking like, and I'll, as always, thanks for clicking over here for subscribe. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Do, 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 do. Everybody's mowing their lawns today and it's very, very annoying. Sinuses are going nuts and they're creating noise for my videos. Inconsiderate neighbors. Gee whiz. Alright, let's get started. <clears throat> for Mama come back and then make more noise because the Toby is an husky. Things don't stay going very well, do they? Real cherries and natural flavors added.